Hello, this is Primo Chagrin from Proteus Teams and in the previous video I have uh, shown how to install and import the demo content to the, our latest uh, team called BuildPress um, and now we can see that um, the essential grid uh, projects are missing and I will also show you how to edit some other stuff in our team. Um, so to import the essential grid, let's go back to administration um, click here to the essential grid uh, you will see you we don't have any um, essential grid um, grids here so you could create a new one but uh, we made this easier for you because the uh, we exported uh, our skin we created especially for the build press so uh, click here to the import export um, open here the import um, and the file you have to choose is um, here inside the folder BuildPress, which is our team. And you will uh, see here the folder inside it, uh, demo content. And the file you have to import is this one, essential grid construction.json. So uh, choose this file and make sure that you click here um, on this button, read file. Um, so while when the file is read, um, you have to um, yeah you can uh, select everything as is and just click this button here import selected data. Uh, make sure you don't click on this one. Uh, I accidentally uh, clicked uh, many times here to this one, but this will import all the demo data from the essential grid, which are like um, thirty different. Um, grids and skins and so on uh, you can play around with this one but uh, just to stay to stay here um, very focused on the build press i will import just the uh, the ones we built uh, so fast so once the demo data are important uh, you're redirected 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 sorry back to the essential grid and you will see here um two essential grids. Uh, one is projects we'll, uh, which we use on the front page and the other one is uh, the projects page uh, which we use on the um, page where we showcase all the projects. Uh, so if we go back here to the front page and we refresh uh, nothing is changed yet but uh, let's go ahead click here to the edit page and um, yes everything is now uh, loaded. Um, here you have one. Um, here you have one uh, widget called Essential Grid. Um, click here to the Edit and make sure that you select this uh, Essential Grid projects. Click Done. Go to Update the page. When it's updated, click back here. Okay, I will dismiss this notice um, to view the page and we already see all the projects but um, the style is not uh, essentially the same as it was uh, as it is on our demo page so let's go back here to the administration and fix this. Uh, so here uh, for the projects click settings and um, under the tab skins uh, choose the skin uh, build press and for the item skins uh, also choose the build press which will be here I think uh, on the fourth page sorry the fifth page the latest one build press item skin select this one and uh, this is how everything uh, will look like on the front end. Um, let's go ahead and save this grid. And if we go back to the front page, refresh it, uh, you can see that uh, the style is now identical as on our demo page. Um, and what we still have to do is here, if you go to the projects, uh, you will see uh, you will see here the projects are missing so let's go ahead um, let's edit this page uh, we can see here is just the the short code uh, from the essential grid uh, from the second grid we created imported actually 
Uh, we also have to go here to the settings. Um, here on skins, uh, we the navigation is the right one already, uh, but we have to fix the style to the same one as we we have chosen before. Uh, save this grid as well. Uh, go back to the list of the grids and co copy this um, this short code. Um, go back to the page of the projects, delete the previous one, paste the next one, uh, the, the one that you just copied. Uh, click here to the update. Um, and let's go ahead to view this page and hopefully everything will look just fine and that's also the case. So perfect, yes, uh, now all the demo data are important, uh, imported. I will just uh, show you around uh, how to change some other stuff. For example, these widgets here at the top, uh, you can change them uh, if you go to the administration here to the widgets. Uh, the sidebar is called header and you can put their icon box and have uh, social, social icons there. Um, to the footer, obviously, uh, here you can see um, widgets which are located here, very at the bottom of the page. Um, then, uh, yeah, of course, uh, here a custom menu is navigation, but you have to select it again. For example, this is the uh, main or top menu or main 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 menu. Um, let's go refresh it, and you 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 can see the navigation. Um, here, very at the top, uh, this menu um, can be selected if you go to the menus, manage locations, and uh, you can select here the menu, top menu. You can also edit uh, this specific uh, menu, change or edit the stuff here, and so on. Um, then, uh, for example, for uh, the front page, the slider, and everything, everything is uh, located inside this uh, page for the inside the page builder or below the page builder. You have okay. We will close the essential grid. You will have here the meta box, um, which allows you to add or edit the existing um, slides with the uh, uh, captions and so on. And this is also very uh, similar if you choose here different uh, templates. For example, we use for the our contact page this default template uh, for page builder. Uh, also, one important thing for the page builder is uh, each icon here for every row, which is visual style. Uh, you have you can select here um, some different uh, styles for the row, which means um, that you will have like. For example, this one will, will have some other background. Uh, this row here will have a darker background and everything. Uh, all these uh, colors and patterns and so on. For example, you have pattern here under the testimonials uh, are customizable. And if you go here to the live review customizer, uh, to the theme options, there are uh, lots of things you can change here, uh, for example, uh, you can very easily here uh, just gr drag around um, in this area and you will see right away on the right side uh, how the site will look like uh, even before you click publish and make the changes um, live for everyone. And I think that's most of mostly it. Um, make sure that if you want to get automatic updates um, that you put your Team Forest uh, API key and your username into these two fields. Um, and that is basically it. If you need um, more help, more support, uh, we're here to help you at support.proteosteams.com. Open a ticket there. Um, and if you like the team, um, don't hesitate to support our work, go to Theme Forest Downloads and uh, rate our item with five stars, hopefully. So <laughs> thank you very much for listening. Um, that would be it and goodbye.